Let's bring in Jim Frischling because we do have a market that is dropping very dramatically right now. You wrote it out back in February when we were 14% lower than we are right now. What does this day do for your outlook and your movement in a portfolio? Sure. I, think, I thought the market today was slow to react to what, what we thought was a very poor number this morning GDP. and kind of GDP and kind of verifying or validating what we feel out there. I, I see people talking about this great improving economy, but that's not actually what we see either in terms of labor. Uh, uh, particip labor force participation in terms of the mortgage market, um, and certainly just in terms of the overall enthusiasm, exports hanging to given the strong dollar. So we thought GDP actually was going to come out to be a pretty poor number, lowest number in two years. Um, not draconian, not nasty, but the fact is, this is not the kind of economy, globally speaking, by the way, that in my opinion instills a bullish market to take stocks higher. But so I think you're seeing a, a little bit of a give back because people are digesting stocks this. Stocks are cheap for now. If you have a yes. longer outlook, Apple at $95 which of course it's dropping about 3% at the moment. You going in here and finding some good quality names at less expensive prices? Yeah, we still think the U.S. stock market and U.S. equities represent the best opportunity to earn money. Mm -hmm. um, so in that sense, we're trying to look at you know, almost a fortress type portfolio. Apple to me is not going away. Yes, they didn't have one of their best quarters. In fact, the worst, I guess, uh, underachieving in 13 straight quarters, but we think it's a great company. Looking at other things that are, you know, I can sleep at night with my portfolio, and that's what I'm thinking about. Okay, you have three names where you say this will, in a way, bulletproof part of the portfolio, not everything, because a bulletproof vest only covers certain <laughs> parts of a portfolio, but you say Wells Fargo is a good one, and two regional airlines. Why? Um, first of all, I know it's boring to talk about financials and maybe even not popular. Wells Fargo, they are, the, uh, I think, best in class when it comes to their management, their focus. They're a bank acting like a bank. Mm -hmm. They're going to lend consumer and the mortgage market. Okay, if you need to borrow... are they overexposed I, to the fracking industry I, and lending? I, I, I Didn't still, that I, hurt them? I think of all the financials, when I think of their management, their focus, their their dividends, they're going to pay you back for, they're going to pay you for owning their stock. They're the ones, they're my favorite in that entire sector, so I feel good about that. On the airlines, um, we like the cheap regionals. I don't mean to call them cheap, but the fact is uh, the consumers got a little more money in their pocket. Summer travel, JetBlue, and I love love. Jim Frischling of New Oak, thank you. Thank Speaking you very of much. travel, gang.